Welcome to the 2020 Domain Golden Gavel Live in its 28th year. My name is Matt Smith, President, and I'd like to take the opportunity to thank Corey Roberts from CR3 uh, for his filming today, John Morris, Paula Alexander, our official photographer. Now, the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers Incorporated uh, represents the specialist interests of auctioneers and appraisers of real estate, general and livestock. Domain Golden Gavel Live is paramount in enhancing the professionalism and expertise of our members in the pursuit of excellence. Now the Society's had a vibrant year. We've had a two-day Auction Academy workshop held in January, pricing compliance seminar held by Society trainer Chris Gill, networking drinks at the Highway Inn in February, and we've also had the brand new workshop held in March, which was negotiating skills with Brenton Illich. Coming up, we have the Society Golf Classic at Mount Osmond Golf Club on October 16. Now we hope to resume our training and events as soon as possible. The Domain Golden Gavel Awards were created by past president and life member Anthony Toop back in 1993. The Domain Golden Gavel Awards has been passionately supported by the entire real estate, general and livestock professions ever since. Entrants in all fields are vying for the coveted prize of Domain Golden Gavel Live winner in their respective fields. Domain Golden Gavel Live received 26 nominations this year. Senior real estate, general and livestock auctioneers performed real life auctions in the field and uploaded a video or live streamed it to the Society Facebook event page. Rising Stars performed an auction of a 1920s character home in Fullerton in the conventional way, in front of a panel of judges and bidders utilising Zoom and Bid Tracker. As your president, I am both honoured and proud to be associated with this vibrant and well-respected body of professionals. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank the board and the board advisors. The board first, Andrew Monks, Amelia Langham, Richard Ward, Sarah Bauer and John Morris. The advisors, thank you, Chris Gill, Ray Brinkat, Mark Duplessy, Jeff Watts, Jeff Schell, Victor Valgush and Sharon Gray. And of course, I'd like to thank our major sponsor, Domain, for their support, not only of the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, but of their support generally of the real estate sector here in South Australia. I'd like to thank their national and their state team, Jerome van der Peppel, Kirsty McDowell, Matt Lapari, Sarah Hignett, Nick Katsaris, Simone Ellis, and Hannah Bourne. Again, thank you to the Adelaide team, thank you to the national team. We are most, uh, most appreciative of your ongoing support. Domain for Agents is your gateway to maximising your presence and value from domain, including new domain insights. A set of data and insights from over 13 million properties across Australia, helping you to stay one step ahead and save time. Exclusive to Platinum customers, Market Insights helps educate your vendor on current market conditions and drive their confidence to list. Use the power of insights to recommend the best possible method of sale and the optimum marketing campaign, helping you to win the listing. See current supply and demand, the estimated property value, out of area buyers and more. Upgrade to Platinum today to access our full set of domain insights. Go to agent.domain.com.au to log in. I'd like to thank the team for your support of the auctioneers, specifically for providing 22 prizes of Platinum listing and dream home on domain for an auction property uh, that uh, is worth 1300 each to our top 10 sales consultants and top 10 principal auction marketers and our 2020 Domain Golden Gavel Live winner and Domain Golden Gavel Live Rising Star winner. I'd like to thank our key sponsors, specifically Darren Reed from Reed Brother Signs for providing the open inspection board and car boot racks as a prize. The Bowden Group, Sam Bowden and Damien Birchall, thank you very much. We are supported by the Form One company, Chris Gill, thank you. Lawsoft, Mark Kurtz. 
Woolman's lawyers, thank you, David Durko, Scott Lumsden, Rebecca Vassy, and Brian Paris. Cowden Insurance, Gordon Tonkin, thank you very, very much. Du Plessis Art Gallery, the Du Plessis family, founding members of the society, and of course, our business partners in Business SA. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to acknowledge our domain Golden Gavel winners in the past. Phil McMahon, our inaugural winner in 1993. Brett Rowenfeld, 94, 95, 96, 2001 and 2018. Rob John, 1997, 2003. Leo Redden, 1998 and 1999. Oren Klemek, 2002. Rod Adcock, 2003, 2004 and 2008. Lindsay Warner, 2005 and 13. Paul Henry, 2006, Phil Harris, 07. Josh Biggs, 2009. Nick Baranico, 2010. Michael Fenn, 211, 12 and 16. Bronte Manuel in 2014. AJ Coleman, 2015 and 17, and Hamish Mill, 2019. Hello everyone, Gary Topp, CEO of the Society. Now on behalf of our trustee, Mr Oren Klemek. Ladies and gentlemen, what a proud and steadfast history the Society has and continues to enjoy, with so many highly dedicated members who seek to continually raise the uh, profile and standards of the profession of both auctioneers and appraisers. Celebrating 28 years, the Society is breaking new ground with cutting-edge technology where senior real estate general and livestock auctioneers submit a live Facebook feed from a smartphone to determine South Australia's best live auctioneers. It is great to see so many of you representing all areas within our industry and made up of arguably some of the best in Australia. Yet again, it proves that from here in South Australia, we are leaders and innovators that others choose to follow. The Society in its 39th year is proud to both represent you and help you to continue through our initiatives, such as our Mandarin translated documents, REA forms, OCDOCs in the cloud, upcoming auctions app, nationally accredited network and training, and the Domain Golden Gavel Live competition and awards. The Domain Golden Gavel Live concept removes distance as a barrier and allows auctioneers to compete from all over South Australia for the ultimate accolade, Domain Golden Gavel Champion for Real Estate, General and Livestock. So it's with great pleasure that I call to the lectern Hamish Mill uh, to return the perpetual trophy from 2019. Hamish, uh, please come to the lectern. Thank you very much. Hamish, while you're here, can I ask, um, winning this trophy in 2019, how's that changed your real estate career over the past 12 months? Yeah, it was a, a great pleasure to win the 2019 Domain Golden Gavel. Briefly, two things. It helped me list more property and it helped me take more properties to auction and get better results. So it was a great honour and thank you. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Hamish. Thank you, Hamish. A, uh, uh, indeed, a, a terrific award, the Domain Golden Gavel. Uh, Hamish joins a select few and, of course, we're looking forward to um, the announcement of the 2020 winner in the fullness of time. Awards one and awards two are for the top 10 principal and sales consultant auction marketers. The top 10 principal and sale consultant auction marketers are the people who embrace auction as their preferred method of marketing property. The society recognises the top 10 principals and sales consultants from the monthly results published in our upcoming auctions app as submitted by Society Real Estate auctioneers. The top 10 principal auction marketers and top 10 sales consultant auction marketers will each receive a certificate and a platinum listing and dream home on domain for an auction property valued at $1,300. Again, compliments to our major sponsor, Domain. The top 10 sale consultant auction marketers are John Bruce, 
Anthony DeMarco, Bronwyn Davich, George Cardiotis, Hamish Mill, Rod Smitherin, Tim Threadgold, Andrew Welsh, and Bronte Manuel. The top 10 principal auction marketers are Richie Carter, Attilio Caviotto, Anthony Fay, Peter Karitsis, Nick Saros, Matthew Scarce, Jeff Schell, Kate Smith, Jason Spagnolo, and John Regal. Award three is for the top sales consultant for the calendar year of 2019. The winner will receive a plaque to signify their win. I'd ask to the podium please, Domain Sales Manager for South Australia and Northern Territory, Kirsty McDowell, to present the award. All right, and the award goes to Andrew Welch. Would you like to say a few words, Andrew? Lovely, uh, thanks again for the award. Um, a lot of work goes into it and we all have a lot of fun, so we all believe in the auction process, so uh, let's keep moving, thank you. So award four is for the top principal auction marketer of the calendar year in 2019. The winner will again receive a plaque and while Kirsty McDowell is still on stage, I would ask Kirsty to announce the winner of award number four. And the award goes to Nick Saros. Well done, Thanks, Kirsty. Thanks, Matt. Good on you, mate. Would you like to say a few words? Yeah, great. Uh, look, I yeah, thank you, first of all, for this uh, award, and I truly believe that the auction process is the most transparent way to take a property to the market. And, uh, and I guess, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're working for the vendor's best interest, it's the best way to go. So uh, thank you very much. And I thank my team also that have worked tirelessly with me. Thank you. Award number five is for the top 15 real estate auctioneers gold club recognition. Now this award recognises the top auctioneers who have sold the most properties under auction conditions for the year, calculated from results submitted and published in the society, society's upcoming auctions app. This year we will recognise the top 15 real estate auctioneers by giving them a gold lapel badge to signify their status. They will join an elite group called the Gold Club. And the top 15 winners are John Bruce, George Cariotis, Nathan Cassily, AJ Coleman, Anthony DeMarco, Jonathan Moore, John Morris, Brett Pilgrim, Nick Plebitis, Brett Rowenfeld, Jeff Shell, David Smallercombe, Rod Smitherum, Jared Tagney, and Richard Twaits. Award number six is our top real estate auctioneer of the year. The auctioneer who has sold the most properties at auction from the last calendar year. The Broden Print Group is very much a bespoke printer, providing products and solutions that are tailored to clients' needs. From the simplest of business cards and small run brochures through to office and shop front rebranding and complex vehicle wraps, they produce all these items in-house which allow them to back up a quality guarantee. The Broden Print Group really are a one-stop shop for all your needs. I'll ask to the podium Sam Bowden to open the envelope and announce the winner. Welcome, Sam. Thanks, Matt. And the winner is Jonathan Moore. Congratulations, Jonathan. Cheers, thank you. Would you like to say a few words? Yes, please. Uh, of course, thank you very much to the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, of course, uh, Bowdoin Printing, and of course, uh, Domain, major sponsors, and of course, to um, my very, very loyal clients who, uh, 
who use my services. We certainly believe in the auction process. We know that records are broken under competition, and certainly auction is the power of competition. Thanks very much. Award number seven, Real Estate Group Auction Marketer. Now this award is for the group that has sold the most properties under auction conditions, and of course the results submitted uh, via the Society's app. I'd like to again introduce and welcome back to the podium, Sam Bowden, to announce the winner. And the winner is Ray White. Thank you very you much. Like to say a few words, John? Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, on behalf of Ray White, auction has been part of Ray White's DNA since it started 118 years ago, I believe, and I don't think that's going to stop anytime soon. Thank you very much. Well done, John. Chris Gill formed the Form 1 company in 2009 and specialises in Form 1 preparation for vendors via real estate agents, conveyances, and lawyers. Now, the Form 1 company is renowned in South Australia for its expertise, timely preparation, and most importantly, accuracy. Agents' income and reputation rely on the accuracy of the Form 1s, and the Form 1 company delivers every time. So as we move on to award number eight, now this award recognises the sales auctioneer who has achieved the highest price sale at auction in country South Australia from the results submitted to the society. I'd ask Chris Gill from the Form 1 company to please come to the podium to open the envelope and announce the winner. Welcome, Chris. The winner of the real estate highest price ad auction for the country is Jonathan Moore. Award number nine recognises the sales auctioneer who has achieved the highest price sale at auction in metropolitan South Australia, uh, again from results submitted to the society. Once again, I'll ask Chris Gill to the podium to announce the winner. Thanks, Matt. The winner of the real estate highest price at auction for the metropolitan area is Brett Roenfeld. Right, thank you very much to the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, our major sponsor, Domain, and of course Chris Gill from the Form 1 Company for their tremendous support uh, of this event over many, many years. Just a, a big thank you to uh, uh, the boys from Savills uh, who gave me the opportunity to auction this particular property, uh, in particular Steve Bobridge and Rob Williamson. Thank them very much for their tremendous support. Well Thanks. Done. Award number 10 recognises the top three point scorers representing a major independent or franchise group from the seniors' domain Golden Gavel Heats, where contestants compete as a team. Now, the winners will receive a plaque, five open boards and a car boot rack for each, courtesy of Reed Brother Signs. I'd like to ask Darren Reed from Reed Brother Signs to the podium to announce the winners. Thank you, Matt. Domain Golden Gavel Live, Auctioneer Agency of the Year, top three point scorers for 2020 is Ray White, John Morris, Rod Smitherum, and George Cargiotis. I think John touched on it earlier, uh, John Morris touched on it earlier, Ray White obviously uh, as a family love the auction process and really believe um, it's the ultimate transparent way to be selling a property so we really uh, thank the Society of Auctioneers for putting up such a fantastic award, thanks to Domain and obviously Reed Brother Science for their support, thank you very much. Well 
Awards 11 and 12. Now, many of our auctioneers and appraisers carry out auctions and valuations of plant and equipment, company assets, fine art and antiques. Award 11 recognises general auctioneers with the sale by auction of an item of an exceptional price from the calendar year 2019. Auction or award number 12, I should say, recognises general auctioneers who have conducted an auction realising an exceptional sale price also from the calendar year of 2019. I'd like to welcome to the podium to announce the winners, Robin Duplessy, representing Duplessy Auction Gallery. Welcome, Robin. Right, and the winner is, uh, for the general auctioneer's highest price, single price lot sold, Brett McGarrigy. That's Ma it, McGarrigy. Thank you. Uh, and the general auctioneer's highest sales proceeds of the year is also Brett. Well done, Brett. Congratulations. Brett. Well done, Brett. Thank you, Robin. She's usually very energetic, makes you smile, will always be there for you, and has a very big heart. Well, welcome to 17 Florence Street here in Fullerton. My name's Enrique Bisbal, and it's an absolute pleasure to be your auctioneer this fine morning. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what we're offering to here today can potentially be your match made in heaven. Hello and welcome. My name is Joshua Bagley and I'm delighted to be your auctioneer for today's proceedings. An entertainer, oozing character, oozing charm. <coughs> and did I say a real, real entertainer? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the auction here today. I'm Sarah Bell. And I would like to welcome you here on behalf of Society Real Estate. Today's auction will be conducted under the terms and conditions published by the Society of Auctioneers and appraisers in conjunction with the Real Estate Institute of South Australia. Today we're offering the allotment 79 file plan 15152 in the, in the area named Fullerton in the hundred of Adelaide. I would like to thank my vendors for entrusting us with the sale of their property today. I know this property is a much loved family home and I'm sure we're going to find someone here who's going to love it just as much. Built in the 1920s, this cosy character home is set on 414 square metres of prime Fullerton land. 1.7 metre by folding doors. So as your two-legged children sit inside and enjoy Animation Wednesday tonight, you can be outside with the four-legged children in your exquisite alfresco area. Those beautiful high deck lift ceilings, polished timber floors, open fireplaces and lead light windows. And to me, it doesn't seem to get any better than this. So it's your time to secure the perfect property. Opening bid, where do we see that? Done. Opening bids, opening offers, where do we see value? I'm in your hands. May I suggest a conservative number, say 550. Buying and look for an opening bid and offer today of 600,000. 400. 400. Welcome into the bidding today, man. Best of luck with bidder number one. Huh? 400,000 with bidder number one is the current bidder. 400,000. Look, I'll take you 420. Thank you and welcome to the bidding. Can I just see your number again there? Sorry, Rachel. Number two. Thank you, Rachel. 440. At 440, bid number three. At 440,000. Uh, 480 bids the current bid at 480, they can take it to 500, uh, currently at 480. Bid at number 2 at 520, 530 with bid at number 1. At 530 with bid number 1. I'll give you 10. At 530, 40, back with you, number 2 at 540 now. Third and final call out, I'll give you 585. 585 with bid number 4, welcome into the bidding at 585,000 dollars and uh, 595. First call at 605, looking for a 10,000. Stop on around 20,000. This is ridiculous, ladies and gentlemen, 625. Look where we are. Look at this beautiful tree line street. I'll give you 650. 650, nice and strong there, sir. You've gone quiet on me, man. There was another two and a half, I heard it. Six, six, 67 and a half. 672 and a half for the second call. 1,000. 673 and a half, thank you, number four. 673 and a half. Oh, that's 675 and a half, just a half bit of 675. What? 678 with you, bit of number four. First call with bit number four, 678. The game is out. We are definitely selling at 678,000 for the first call. Twice. Third, final call. Selling, selling, sold. 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 Congratulations. Congratulations. 
our success a bit. And I'd like to thank all of our other bidders for your enthusiastic bidding today. Because without you, there wouldn't have been an option. I look forward to asking any questions. Have a great day! <laughs> the main rising star finalists. Rising stars are auctioneers of the future and have conducted less than 10 auctions in the field or no live auctions at all and who have not won this award previously. This year, the Rising Stars auctioned a 1920s character home in Fullerton. Now, this, uh, this auction was conducted at the uh, Clemmick Warehouse and they utilised the bid tracker and Zoom technology. The auctioneers had to highlight the benefits of living in the area and conduct the auction in front of both a live and on-site judges. Speaking of the judges, I would like to thank Matt Lapari, Jarrah Holmes, Darren Reed, Sharon Gray, Luke Domingo, and Brett Rowanfield for their judging. The bidders on the day, Sharon Gray, AJ Coleman, Luke Domingo, and Rachel Coulter. AJ Coleman, I'd also like to thank for being the floor manager for the day. The benchmark for two, was conducted by the 2019 Domain Rising Star Champion, Vincent Duran. I'd like to again welcome to the stage the State Manager for Domain Northern Territory, South Australia, Kirsty McDowell, to present the finalists. Okay, and the finalists are Joshua Bagley, Enrique Bisbal, and Sarah Bauer. Well done. Would you like to say a few words? <laughs> well, obviously, thank you for the society for giving us yeah, for um, us the opportunity to be able to do this and spend time out of your busy days to come and help us out with um, <laughs> our auctioneering and teaching us the art of auctioneering. And thank you to all the judges too. Mm. <laughs> thank you. And now for this year's Domain Golden Gavel Rising Star winner. The winner will receive an engraved auction gavel, a $700 cheque from the society and a platinum listing home for any auction property courtesy of Domain valued at $1,300. I'd like to again announce to the stage and podium, Kirsty McDowell representing Domain. She's a state manager for South Australia Northern Territory to announce this year's Domain Golden Gavel Rising Star winner. And the rising star winner is Enrique Bisbal. Well, thank you for this opportunity to be able to be up here, a part of the auctioneers. Um, I'd like to thank Society and their sponsors for being able to hold such a great event the team at Clemic for dealing with us as we're yelling downstairs and they're working hard upstairs. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>
are selling in numerical order, starting at lot number one today. Follow the auctioneering this lot sign and uh, listen along to follow along with which lot is being sold. Good luck with your buying today. Without any further ado, we'll get underway at lot one. Lot one's the John Deere, the 2653, the three gang mower there. Diesel powered, of course, 1684. Five dollars up the back at five dollars, ten dollars. It's about to sell it. Fifteen at fifteen, twenty at twenty, twenty-five, thirty. At 30 is the absentee bidder. At $5,000 the bid there now, $5,000 now done. Finishing out, selling it away at $5,000 bid. All sold, I won't take your bid, you're a little bit young mate. At $70, all done, all sold, no further bids. Tire changer, Vesta Bar, Servo Matt, tire changer here, three phase power, direct from the liquidation matter, came out of a working environment, good brand tire changer there, starting away, got to be there at seven, at $700 bid there now, seven and eight, $800 bid there now, eight and nine, at $900 bid there now, eight was here, your nine, sir, you like it, happy, nine's there, at $900 bid there now, nine, at $900 bid there now, $900 bid there now, at 900 I'm selling, at $900 bid there now, we're done, finished it out at 900 well bought, sir, 900. Lot number 17 are the three Robert Florian oils there. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh -huh. Call it out, got to be there at five. At five thousand, I'll take a half at five and five now. At fifty five hundred, took it here at five and five. At two thousand four hundred, at two four. Are you all done? All silent, no further bids. Absolute bargain, sir. Congratulations. Five, three, two, two. Nine. At nine in time. At nine thousand dollar bid there now. Your turn. You like it online at nine thousand now. Five hundred's all the way. At nine thousand dollar bid, I'm selling. Done. Finish turn out at nine thousand. This year we invited general auctioneers to conduct a live auction that was streamed or uploaded to our Facebook event page. The Duplessis Auction Gallery has donated $2,000 cash prize for the winner and $500 for the runner-up. This year the judges were Attilio Caviotto, Brett Rowenfeld, AJ Coleman and Colin Gagents. I'd like to welcome to the stage Vice President Andrew Monks to announce the runner-up of the General Auctioneer 2020. The runner-up for the General Auctioneer of the Year 2020 is Mark Duplessis. General Auctioneers sometimes auction without a break for hours and even days, selling general goods from cars, trucks, earth-moving machinery, to antiques, fine art and collectibles, farm collectibles, farm clearing sales, vineyards, wineries, aircraft and manufacturing machinery. I'd like to again welcome back to the podium Vice President Andrew Monks to announce the winner of the General Auctioneer 2020. The Domain Golden Gavel 2020 General Auctioneer of the Year is Stuart McCordon. Wow, uh, what an what a honour, what an honour to win this award. I'm very, very humble to win this award with the, uh, especially with the names on that um, trophy. So yeah, thanks very much and uh, yeah, really appreciate it. Um, to the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, um, thank you for the opportunity. Um, I'm very grateful, um, very grateful, very humble to uh, win this award and the sponsors, thank you so much as well. Cheers, thanks guys. Well 
Now, this is a particularly special award. It's award number 18. It's the Peter de Plessy Golden Pen Award. Founding member of the society, Peter de Plessy, sadly passed away on Monday, 19th of December, 2016. Peter had a passion for the society second to none. We commemorate Peter's legacy with the Peter de Plessy Golden Pen Award. I'll again ask Andrew Monks to the podium to announce the winner. The Domain Golden Gavel Live Peter de Plessy Golden Pen Award for 2020 for a South Australian private art collection of $1,004,160 is Mark de Plessy. I had a good teacher, what can I say? Nothing else to say apart from that. Well Cheers, thank you to the society. Well That's the story right there. Beautiful little man of the first half. Good jacket again. Not frightened to spend a fortune on buying rams these people. Right there you are. Absolutely quality check, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful little check. 790, 240, easy and go. 240 or 30 down to make the 20. 220 or 5. 220, 200 bucks. Kill me up with the damn little Two are gone. 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 Two are gone.
in your endeavours. My name is Hamish Mill and we are proud members of the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers. My name's Sharon Gray, I've been marketing the property for the past few weeks. Two street frontages, a beautiful character home. 5.5 kilometres from the CBD, this hot spot of West Croydon. So you get that winter sun pouring through those French doors right throughout the winter, making the unit very light and bright. To really are spoiled for choice, right here at Nine Parsons Street, Goodwood. It's a fantastic uh, setup inside. You can see it's beautifully manicured outside front. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm in your hands. I'm looking for an opening bid. This is for the opening bidder. I need you to get those cards out and those arms up. Opening bid, opening offer, 22 Blandford Street, West Croydon. Call it out where you see value, anywhere you like. Over to you. I'm in your hands entirely for a bid and offer on the property, please. I'm looking for an opening bid of $300,000 to go. Who'll start me away? Perhaps I could suggest an 800 to get us going. I'm in your hands, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in your hands, ladies and gentlemen. Please start me away. 300,000, bidder number 18. Let's give them a bigger round of applause. Bid number 23, by Jane Walker, a bid and a half a million. Let's give them a big round of applause, by to get it to us. Hold it up, sir. Number 5 at 300. Thank you very much, opening bid at 300. 800 bid with bid at 3. Welcome in. Thank you very much for bidding. Bid at 3 at 800,000. In the box seat now. Why not, sir? That bid at number 2 was at 590. Bid at number 2. Just like riding a bike, nice and easy. Bid 300 at 20,000. 340. Let's pay play. Bid at number 18. Please to get 510. And 510 now. Let's keep things bumbling along now. 520. You like, sir. Ten, he says, number three to my extreme left-hand side. 835, I'll take your five, I'll look for ten from there. 625, what was your number, madam? Thank you, bit of three, you did hold that up for me. We've got an option at four, oh, 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 oh. Here we go, four, twenty is the goal. And five, thirty, you can number twenty. Let's go five, forty next. Holding your strategy there, madam, that's okay. Twice. Three, thirty. Thirty. 3.30, number three in the nick of time at 3.30. At 8.40 now, 8.45, sir, back in at 8.45 with number nine. At 8.45, 8.50, madam. At 8.45 with number nine, can I say 8.50 for you? 8.50 with number three. 6.50, thank you, madam, 6.50 now. At 5.71, here we go, we're selling it away. You've got that beautiful smile. At 6.70, he's trying to steal it away from you. Go 71. 90, good bid, 490. At 490, round me to 500, madam. 870,000, we bid a number 9. 47, 48, sir. 47 here. Not too late for anyone else either, of course. Third and a final call. All quiet, all silent, and another successful result from the team at Ray White Ford Adelaide. Sold in your way, well done, guys. Done, finished, silent. Let's give a big West Point and round of applause. Sold to you, sir. Congratulations. No further bidding, selling, selling, and sold to you, madam. Congratulations, give her a big clap. At 880,000, with bidder number nine, all done. I've definitely got your best, madam. All finished. Sold, congratulations. Going and gone. Congratulations to well bought. Number 20, the Domain Golden Gavel Live Finalists. The Domain Golden Gavel has unquestionably raised the standards of auctioneering in South Australia. The concept evolved as a means to give profile to local auctioneers and appraisers, and it has become the benchmark in South Australia. The Domain Golden Gavel Live is the longest running auctioneering competition in the Southern Hemisphere. And has been the springboard that has fast-tracked the careers of so many South Australian auctioneers and appraisers. We had 12 entrants this year and we have five finalists. Judging those finalists were Rod Adcock, Kirsty McDowell, Rosalind Neal, Leo Redden, Tony Tagney, Stephen Kemp, myself and Oren Clemick. The total scores were audited by the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers Auditors. 
And instead of an auction being conducted in an auditorium, the auctioneers were judged out in the field, live on a TV screen by the judges. I'd last to the stage to the podium, State Manager, South Australia Northern Territory for Domain, Kirsty McDowell, to open the envelope and announce the finalists one by one. Okay, congratulations to the finalists. And the first finalist is AJ Coleman. And finalist number two is Anthony DeMarco. And number three is Sharon Gray. And, oh, sorry, Sharon, I gave you the wrong certificate. <laughs> Um, next up is Stephen Venn. Good job, Stephen. And the next finalist is Hamish Mill. I'm a traditionally person with no system, no process, completely chaotic, hopeless at all the things state agents are meant to do. As I've got older, I've realised that there's only one thing in every business. It's system, 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 system. Technology is saving a lot of work. You still need that personality, but if you haven't got the system, you're history. I think the importance of technology in this day and age, it's more about creating efficiency for us as the agents. We've got to ensure that we can do more in less time. It's getting tougher and tougher to be more profitable in this day and age, and I think ensuring that we've got great technology that speeds up what we can do is going to make a massive difference to our business. What I really love about Bid Tracker is the fact that we get an instant summary of our sales day. I can get straight out to my staff within seconds of a sale result so they're relevant to buyers in the marketplace. And most importantly, we're compliant, which means we don't have to double up our paperwork and we've got a backup of all the results. Saturdays is very time challenging and we're running around like headless took sometimes, auctions back to back. And for me not to have to pick up the phone, wait on hold for the girls at the office to then report a result, pushing a couple of buttons straight after the sale has streamlined our sale process. Bid Tracker adds another dimension to our point of contact with our clients, our vendors and our purchasers. At the time the property is sold, we're able to congratulate the purchaser on their purchase, congratulate the vendor on the sale of the property. What happens with salespeople, when they see that somebody has sold a property and it's out there for all of them to see, it then generates healthy competition and with a good sales team, that's important. Auctions are exciting. People love coming and watching a great auction. And one thing with Bid Tracker, it doesn't take away from the theatre of my auctions. And most importantly, it's independently owned, which means you know exactly who you're supporting. If you're looking for software that's going to save you time, money, and administration, Bid Tracker is going to work for you. The 28th winner of the Domain Golden Gavel will join a select group of high achievers and take their part as ambassador for the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers and will indeed be making history. The winner will receive the perpetual trophy, a framed boxed golden gavel, $2,000 cash and a platinum listing dream home on domain for any auction property valued at $13 hundred dollars. Very generous Domain, thank you. I now ask Domain Sales Manager for South Australia Northern Territory, Kirsty McDowell, to open the envelope and announce the 2020 Domain Golden Gavel Live Champion. Right. 
And the winner is, back to back, Hamish Mill. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic, great pleasure to win the uh, 2020 Domain Golden Gavel. Lots of thank yous. Firstly, all the sponsors, Domain, Kirsty McDowell and Matthew Lapari, who's not here, and all the team at Domain, they do a wonderful job throughout Australia. Their portal is very user friendly and it attracts huge uh, volume and numbers to our open inspections and auctions. Uh, the other sponsors, I'd like to thank Bowden Printing, who do a wonderful job with our glossy coloured brochures, uh, uh, news report, um, newsletters and so on. And Reed Brothers Signs, they erect our auction boards and our sign boards, so thank you, their service is impeccable. And I'd also like to thank all the other sponsors. Um, just to reach out to the real estate industry, if you've got other suppliers or contractors, we ask you to support those that support us. Next time you're qu quoting, give them a ring, all our sponsors, have a coffee, have a chat. I'm sure you can do some business down the track. Um, the Society of Auctioneers and Appraisers, I'd like to thank them very much for what they do. They're one of our real estate governing bodies. They do a fantastic job throughout the year and putting on the Golden Gavel event every year. Gary Top as CEO, he's tireless, he's been doing it a long time, he's a great man, so thank you very much for all that you do. Matt Smith as president here, he's been the president since about October, end of last year. He's one of the elite selling agents here in South Australia. He's a director of Clemic and however he finds time to lead the society, so Matt, thank you for all you do. Oren Klemek is trustee again this year. He's Mr. Nice Guy, he's a gentleman of the industry. He's won every accolade out there. He's a great sportsman, he's a great bloke. And he's, a, you know, he's won the Golden Gavel before. He's won everything. And he's got one of the very best businesses here in South Australia. Um, thanks, Oren. We really appreciate you being trustee and all the work you do. Um, now, where I w I'd like to congratulate, or I'd like to thank all the judges for taking time out and judging the competition this year. They're all head of industry, they're all uh, principals and busy people, so we really appreciate you judging. To the five finalists, congratulations for making the final. Well done. To the 12 competitors, great effort for going in the competition. Now, people ask me, why do you go in the competition? What's it all about? And it's very, very straightforward. It's all about honing our craft, becoming better auctioneers, doing some training, putting ourselves out there, receiving some constructive criticism and getting better at what we do. It helps us list more property, take them through to auction and get better and higher results at the auction. I'd like to thank Williams Real Estate, where I work, John and Stephanie Williams, fantastic operators. Their inner sanctum, Matthew Paternoska and Natalie Bryant. I'd like to thank all the uh, support staff, the administration staff at Williams, uh, the property management team, all the sales people, all the auctioneers. I share an office with John Bruce, one of the senior auctioneers in the state, and also Lindsay Warner, Lindsay Warner is a multiple Golden Gavel winner. He is a four-time Harcourt auction champion. I sit with them, they, uh, they, they've taken me under their belt. I look up to both of them as mentors. They train me, they've helped me with everything that I do. Myself, I am a student of the industry. I've attended the conference on the Gold Coast for the last 15 years. I'm at all the training. I'm work in progress, I'm trying to grow with the business and I've got better people around me in every aspect. I bounce everything, off I, everything I do off two or three senior people in the office. So a big shout out to the Williams, thank you very much. Finally, I'd like to thank my parents, Pruiny and Mill. 
Um, they've been just rock solid, a guiding influence for me all my life. Um, finally, um, yeah, my dad, Ian, he's having a significant birthday on Sunday, so I look forward to getting together with the family and having a great day. Anyway, it's a great honour to win the Domain Golden Gavel. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you again next year.